Okay, grade eight, chapter 2.3, proportional reasoning. This is question 11. It says, a small gear turns 18 times in the same time that a large gear turns four times. So we're looking at the small gear. I better choose a pen. Small gear turns 18 times, and the large gear turns, I'll go gear here, I guess, turns four times. All right. And then it says, how many times will the large gear turn if the small gear turns 54 times? Now it says, draw a diagram to help set up a proportion and solve the problem. So here's a small gear. It looks like this, and it's got the little, uh, little cogs on it. And it turns 18 times when this larger gear turns four times. So this one does, does 18 revolutions, the other one goes four times around. It says, and set up a proportion. So we're going to set up the small gear's proportion to the large gear's proportion. So if we have the small one goes 18 times to 4 times, that should be proportionate if the small gear turns 54 times to which amount for the large gear. So when I set up my proportion, I'm setting up as small to large. I look for my information. I see 18 here. I have 4 here, so I set up as a proportion. And that should be proportionate to... Remember that equal sign means proportionate, not equivalent. Proportionate to 54 times for the small to how many for the large. So what I have to figure out here is what do I multiply the 18 by to get 54? And if you think of it, well, is 18 times 3, what's that? That seems pretty close, 24. It's 54. 18 times 3 is 54. Now, I did it by, you know, guess and check. But there is another way you could do it. You could say, well, if I don't know this number here, which I don't, how can I get it? Well, I can take 54 and divide it by the number I do know, and that will tell me the number I need to know. So it's going to be 3. So I multiply this by 3, and that means that 12. So therefore, the large wheel or the large gear will turn 12 times. And that's the answer. 